we've done is we've just said, hey, this place is about great food on a plate. It's not about foofy things going up or stripes or dots going around. We cook the food right, it goes on a plate, we get it to you. And that's what this place is about. All right, let's get two chicken on the grill. I need a pork chop, side of grilled rapini. Here at Kirkland Tap and Trotter in Somerville, chef owner Tony Moss likes to keep things simple, or as he calls it, old school. Being old school means we're gonna take it the old school way, which means we're gonna make it ourselves. So whatever you see on the plate, be it mustard, pasta, or a slice of pie, you can trust it was made fresh in-house. The most old school aspect of all, though, has to be how Tony and his team actually cook the food on a giant wood-fired grill. And we have this great wood-fired grill. And you walk in here and that's one of the first things you can sense. You might even smell it walking down the street. It's an old school approach. It's fire and it's coals, it's grill and it's hands. It just makes you start to salivate and crave. And it's very homey that way. A friendly neighborhood spot with a menu full of elevated comfort food. That's what you'll find at Kirkland Tap and Trotter. For starters, there's beer battered bread and butter pickles served with a horseradish Russian dressing perfect for dipping, decadent grilled pork belly over creamy rice grits, and house-made macaroni topped with rich lamb ragu. But the best way to get your meal going is with an order of crispy fried pork ribs. Beautiful Memphis ribs that we dry rub and then we braise for a long time and then we fry them. So it's got the best of everything. They're falling off the bones hand over. They've got a really nice little crisp crunch to them on the outside. People will be like, oh yeah, one order will be fine. And the next thing you know, they're ordering three more ribs. Once you're ready for entrees, the menu offers fire roasted chicken over pumpkin puree and grilled bok choy, and a grass fed burger capped with crunchy kimchi Russian dressing. Terrific chuck on a great bun that we make here. It's a brioche bun served with hand cut fries, also done in house. It's a really good beefy burger. I think it puts a smile on a lot of people's faces. But for a smile that's sure to last all week long, come down to Kirkland on a Monday night for one of their signature hot dogs. A good hot dog is one of my favorite food groups. So we set out to make a hot dog and this is a pretty bomb dog. It's a combination of beef and pork. We generally serve it on a house-made pretzel roll. Our own relish that we make, our own mustard that we make, our own chips that we make. If you're a hot dog connoisseur, I think it's absolutely worth the detour to come here on a Monday to try that dog. And if you're thinking about coming here Sunday through Thursday evening, you can feel free to bring the kids along because Tony might be a world-class chef, but he doesn't mind making food for the children's menu, even if he's giving it away for free. Mommy and Daddy can have a great pint or a cocktail and some good food and not feel like they're not getting their kids something delicious as well. Why should a kid get any less respect in the food that we're cooking for them than anybody else? So the kids can enjoy a great meal like the beer-battered fish served with french fries and greens, and they're still room in the budget for that little extra something. And if that something happens to be dessert, order up a slice of tangy, crispy lemon meringue pie. One of my favorite things to eat is lemon meringue pie, but it's hard to get good lemon meringue pie. So we set out to make it. It's got a great almond crust. I think it's got a great balance between acidity with the lemon, but not too tart, just the right amount of sweetness. We serve it with a little bit of blackberry coulis. It's pretty easy to devour. And though the menu boasts many of Tony's favorite foods, from hot dogs to lemon meringue, his favorite part about his restaurant is what it reminds him of every day. I think being a chef, it's all about cooking food for people. And that's what I fell in love with in the very beginning and I've never lost that. So even on the hardest days, I get to look out in the dining room and watching people have a great time. They're smiling and they're laughing. And I think that kind of gathering around a table is what it's all about.